Hey Libra, welcome to your general love read. This is for the March forecast and you're getting me all rock or chic here. All right. So, um, yeah, the eighties called, they said, come home, come home, come home. <laughs> anyway, if you are new here, this is me. I'm a little crazy. I'm a little fun. I am very intuitive. All right. So some of what you see in the cards that would be the traditional meaning may not be what comes out. It may not be what your spirit guides are sharing with me because I will have my spirit guides, some of your spirit guides, frequencies all coming to me. And that's what I read off of when I'm doing these readings. If you are new, welcome. Okay, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. The, especially the liking is so important. That is the only way that these videos get into the analytics to get out there, to get the message to people that really need to hear this. And for the channel to grow. Um, because some of my older videos, I do have ads running on them. All the videos are actually timeless, even when I set a time for it, because time is fluid. So when you come to it, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. And I can, I could be monetizing like most readers do, but I have chosen at this point not to. So I'm doing these readings for free just because I feel called to it. All right. So, um, the liking the subscribing does a big difference. Also the subscribing because the way the analytics work, you might see me for a week in your feed and then I'm gone if you have not subscribed. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull first for the collective from my personal channel, Mindset Unicorn, Mindset and Affirmation deck. I'm going to pull out intention for the reading. And then what I'm looking at today is you and your person, okay, side by side. If you don't have a person, this could be person's energy coming in or a person from your past that you are still hanging on to the baggage from, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Bottom of the deck, we have Summer. Okay, so you could be awaiting summer um, or happiness to come back. Okay, for some of you, it is about the, like the innocence, the happiness of summer, because where you're at right now is you might be out in the cold, but there's an awareness within you. Okay, perhaps that this, this winter was a blessing, that it, it taught you, it allowed you to pull in and work on yourself. And it really did increase this awareness within you, this crown chakra opening for you. For the intention, okay, we have guidance and success. Okay, so again, that's you're raising up your spirituality. You are um, getting more in tune with your angels, your spirit guides, prayer, and all of this is leading you towards movement forward in your life, towards success. Okay, so I'm going to put those right there. So let's take a look at what's going on. Um, this is your love, sex, and emotions. Sometimes the sex will come out. Okay, not very often, but sometimes it is a, a big part. So, for Libra, thank you. Okay, so you're starting off the reading here. All right. Interesting enough, you're feeling as you're going into March in your own power. All right, but there is a message coming towards you. Um, it could be from higher self, all right, especially with the crown chakra being so activated and the guidance being here. Um, but you are, okay, feeling very strong, but you also got, this has not happened yet. Okay, so you're the first sign that this has happened in almost a year or four. But you got four cards of the unknown, 
coming out, okay? So the unknown crossing energy is that, okay, you healed your inner child and someone may be coming back around because of it, okay? Ace of Wands. However, you're looking towards your happiness. You're looking towards the summer, the sunshine. So you may not take this action because they're not coming in with the emotions. You may stand in your power and be like, nope, which will just increase, okay, the passion and the level of communication, okay? So I'm gonna stick those unknowns right there. As you move through the month, because of all of this, I feel like you might start a trip down memory lane, okay, about this person, about your feelings, maybe even thinking about restarting, whether it's restarting with the past, we'll see a little bit more as we go through, or taking a leap into the future. I do see you taking a new start in the end of the month, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles, but it is, you can see the heart on the bottom, it is definitely, in this deck, it for me is in regards to love. So this person, okay. Yeah, at the starting of the month here, they are trying to move out of their emotions, okay. And out of the pain of all the choices that they've been like waffling around within their head, because they see that little spark of happiness, that little spark of sunshine ahead. But as they move, okay, into the month, there's a lot of heartbreak. This could be because you are like, no, I'm not going there, okay? This is done, this is ended. But we have them in the page of pentacles here at the end. With you having the Ace of Pentacles and then having the Page of Pentacles, just be aware that this could be kind of a hit and run where in truth, nothing has changed. They're not really going to give you what you want because they are still very much in their head. Okay, bottom of the deck, it's restricting. They're up in that tree, restricting. They want to grow something very badly with you. There's a growth here underneath the tree and there's abundance all around the tree. They really want to do this, but there's a fear in them keeping them from that possibility. So let's go ahead and clarify here. Okay. So yeah, so you're moving forward from the clarity that you've gained. You're feeling strong, okay? But it is semi-deceptive because you are still <laughs> in the connection. You think you're out of it, Three of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like there's still a lot of stalkering going on. Um, you've moved out of the emotional part of it, but it is still, again, very much under the moon. I think that you are still very attached to the idea of this person. Okay, this person, they left the emotions, like I said, in the back, in the past, okay? And yet they're still looking back at it. They're still, you know, really wanting this. Again, I feel like there may be some sort of passionate communication. We had the Eight of Wands, which then moves to the Nine of Wands, where they guard themselves back up. And you just, I feel like you see this, okay? You see this for what it's worth. Five of Swords, you know... This person is not giving you still what you're worth. And so you are, you see, they're walking away with three swords. It leads them to the three swords, okay? 
they and they don't I feel like they just don't understand but you're still reminiscing about them okay knight of wands um, you may be sitting up reading the messages um, in the middle of the night they want me to look here yeah because you know you know based on the things that have been said that there is love here okay but this person just will not give you that emotional support they will just not give to you what you are asking for and seeking and so you're like if i'm going to give to anyone six of pentacles i'm going to give to myself loving yourself first which is a very beautiful energy for you to have this person okay again they're heartbroken because queen of cups they know that you love them even if you haven't really gone into it they felt the love that you have for them they don't know how to end the cycle like they don't know how to have the awareness to release you from their life completely yeah they watch you they fantasize about you they see you as forbidden fruit and because of that that is as far as it goes for them okay end of the month hmm. you're gonna have a couple of options king of wands king of cups Okay, I feel like this person is putting themselves into the emotions finally. Just a little. Okay, they still may not be talking to you about it, but they are allowing themselves to feel the emotions. But you also have the King of Wands, which is somebody that has done a lot of work on themselves may have been someone that has been maybe in and out of your world perhaps at work or friend circles and they're going to come in strong wanting some sort of a level of connection to increase here yeah for some of you it could be um, that you were in a marriage and this person wants to re-engage the marriage. Okay, with the Hierophant here on top of the King of Wands. This person, okay, finally realizing that without the emotions, nothing turns. They finally have an awareness at the end of the month. And it could be because they see that you're growing and getting what you want and it's leaving them behind. The crossing energy is that they may come forward and say, leave behind what you have and come be mine okay four of wands eight of swords in reverse or if they have a third party it might be crossing energies of i'm done with this okay i want to move forward with you so let's go ahead and get the emotions here okay I am using my Emotions What Lies Beneath deck. Okay, so you may be a little bit, a little bit jealous of the fact that this person seems to have such an easy time with, they seem to be like they can just let this go. Cause you're over here you know feeling like you're 
you know, thinking about the good times and it feels to you because they are so restricted. Like there's, they don't miss it at all. Okay. And you could be a little envious and be like, you know, how can I not feel that way? Yeah. Envious, jealous. Um, but this could also be about the suspected rival. You could have emotions about the third party energy. Okay, this person, like, I feel that they, they feel relieved. I feel like when they come into the understanding of their emotions, um, they wanted me to look here and it's inhibition, um, bashful, skittish, like they may have thought that it was just lust and not love that they had for you. They may have thought they were just lonely. Okay. But what they're really realizing is that the loneliness is due to the not being connected to you, not necessarily the loneliness that they're feeling is not about their current situation at all. So let's go ahead and dig a little deeper. So Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? you really do not want to go back to the past. That's for sure. You may have a lot of feelings about this person. You may have a lot of good memories with this person, but you do not want to go back to the past. Not at all. I feel like you're clear on that. Yeah, you've learned a lot and you won't allow yourself to be pulled back in to the old mindset that you were in. Yeah, because that just tore you down. You have no desire to go back there. You have learned the lessons. You want to move forward. Okay, you're ready for the blessings of the future. This person, okay, they're going to see that this is a divine counterpart. And it's going to make them very imbalanced. Okay, could send them into a little bit of a dark night. Yeah, there's death. Um, where they're going to have to face the illumination of not giving to this situation. Yeah, again, you're giving to yourself. You have no desire as you're moving through the month in... You know, you're in the memories, but you're not in the chasing. So if you were chasing this one, in, this person in the past, you're not. Okay. Do you still have emotions? Yes. Do you maybe dip a tiny toe into that energetic field here and there to feel them? Yes. But for the most part, you're doing your best to keep it completely under control. Okay. This person, again, they fantasize about you, but they may see you, again, as I said, as being someone that they cannot have, forbidden, but strong, but forbidden, okay? As they're going through this, there's a recognition, really, of the love and the possibilities that could have been for the two of you. But I feel like they're recognizing that they were looking down, dealing with some of them, maybe dealing with work, and they just didn't even see you there. Or they thought that you would just be there forever until they could pick up and take the opportunity. Okay, yeah, end of the month here. King of Cups recognizing their feelings, right? 
but still cold as ice, frozen in fear. But you are seeing happiness and a new beginning with someone here, the King of Wands, who wants commitment, who wants to move forward, who wants to give you what you are looking for, stability and love, okay? That is the summer. That's what's coming to you, okay? And in truth, this other person, what they want, they want the security of you, okay? They don't want to give up the emotions, but they like the feeling of you, okay? And they know it. They are trying to work through, like, why do I get up in my head? Why can't I offer you the emotions that I have recognized I feel for you? Like, what is my greatest fear here? I feel like that's where they're ending the month, okay? In illumination, okay? Digging into their own internal secrets of why can I not show my emotions that run so deep to Libra? But, you know, karmically, it's not a bad thing because you have raised your frequency, you've worked on yourself, you've raised your vibrations, you are attracting love. This person realizes that their time is limited. They're going to have to figure out that's why they go into this hangman. They're going to have to figure it out quickly before you're, you're gone, before you slip away. And bottom of the deck is heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So coming out of this, perhaps moving into April, you may see them coming forth with honest information for you. But again, it may be too late. You may have moved on already. All right. Yeah, mastery, okay? You've been raising up. You've been working on yourself. You've been becoming in tune with your own intuitive abilities. Eagle, you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Now, again, okay, the eagle can see really far, but cannot see around the curve. So there's a blind spot. So the blind spot is what will this person do with that intuition, okay? And then you get bison, abundance. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Touch me the way, or teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. Okay, and this to me looks like a family. Okay, so I feel like if this, especially if this, you know, if you choose this King of Wands and it's in the alignment here with the Ace of Pentacles, it is bringing in the abundance of everything, the stability, the love, you know, everything that you need. And it's transparent, okay, windows not walls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like if this has been third party, you are choosing to work through your past and 
reconnect with this person. Um, if not, you have healed your inner child. And that's why you are opening up to possibilities. For some of you, not all of you, it could be opening up to a child that is waiting to come into being. Okay. So I'm going to move to the extended and I'm going to look at the next seven ish days um, going forward from here, moving into March and what that energy is like for you. I'm going to show you a quick little sneak peek preview, but that will be available at Patreon. It's there immediately after this video is live. And then also I'm putting them over on Vimeo, but sometimes those take a day to get up there just <laughs> to let you know, because I've got to upload and then they transcode and then I have to add it into the, you know, the little folder, the special folder and set up all of its stuff. Patreon's easy. And Patreon is my tribe where you go over there for the extended and you join and you get my Monday through Friday. Okay. Um, readings. And then in March, I will also be doing twice a month, a sacred circle that you can join into. Um, that will be two Fridays a month at the same time, um, each time. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So you have choices of how you can join. Okay. So I hope that helps you watch for your sneak peek. All of my information is down below. And much love, guys. Bye. Okay, Libra. Let's look at the lessons that you are learning. Okay. Harmony and compass. Okay, harmony. You are moving into alignment while creating or within creating spiritual oneness. Oh, moving into alignment within. Yeah, I made these cards to think that I did be able to read, right? I'm in balance and feel the outer union. This is attracting. Okay, so you are. You're coming into your own internal harmony. And as such, there's that's the attraction, okay? That's, that's the romance angels attracting. You are attracting somebody to come to the same frequency as you, okay? Compass. You have been given the direction to follow to your soul's purpose. I am looking at my life like a map with a guide to my true north node. Okay, so beautiful. All right, so Mr. or Miss Slow as Molasses. Okay. Let's do just a really quick read on what their intentions are. Okay. They want to take action. Okay. To be the king of wands. They want to step into that position for you and build with you. Okay. So what is the king of wands hoping to get? by coming back into alignment with you. Forgiveness. Okay. They want you to forgive them for their past energies, perhaps past lack of emotions. They want to like, do this, I feel like, because of the growth that they've seen within you. 